Roblox Studio Scripting Basics Part 2 Last video, we talked about script.parent and how we can use that to change properties of an object. This time, we're going to focus on a few of the basic child functions and their uses. The child of an object is simply the object underneath the parent in the explorer. In this case, all of these objects are children of the workspace. I know this whole parent and child business is a little strange if you're new to scripting, but just bear with me. Anyways, let's make a script in server script service and go through a few basic functions. Find first child is used to check if an object exists and returns the first object it finds. In this example, the script is checking whether this testing part is in the workspace and will print in the console depending on whether it exists or not. Wait for child stops the script and returns the object with the given name once it starts existing. This is useful for local scripts because sometimes Roblox has delay between the server and the client. If you want to learn the difference between local scripts and scripts, consider watching my previous video. Now let's make things a little more interesting. Let's say I've got all of these different parts inside of a folder, and I wanted to turn all of them green. How would you do it? In this situation, we can use getChildren to return an entire list of all the parts. Then, we can run a for loop to go through every single one and change their color property. Comment down below if this helped you, or if you have any- Join the Dev Mafia!